obsessed with her, and eventually so insanely jealous he has her killed, and then he feels bad about it. So what does he do? After she's dead, you can't do much about it. So he had her embalmed and kept floating in a giant jar, a giant glass jar filled with honey so he could look at her, oh which my. is kept at one of the towers at Jaffa Gate. And those towers today, it's called David's Citadel. Nothing to do with King David. It's actually Herod's palace fortress. Each of them was named after one was his brother, Fatsael, friend Hippicus, and wife Miriam. And that's the Miriam Tower where he kept her floating in the giant jar of honey. Herod, Miriam's brother was Aristobulus the high priest, and everyone loved him because he was a Maccabean high priest. So he had him killed, had him held underwater in his pool party in Jericho for a few minutes. His own kids he had murdered from that relationship. Augustus, who liked him, said it's better to be his pig than one of his children. That's his Stalin side, but his, but his Trump side was he had this massive ego. Trump's definitely with Freud and the hairstyle of the tall buildings, I don't know. He loved building these big buildings. He loved building. And he lived at a time, and Herod will bring into Israel Roman building techniques. Herod is the great transformer of Israel from a, the Greek influence to the Roman influence. And he lived at a time when Rome was at the height of its power, so he had much stability, and he had a lot of income from taxing Jews and from all the trade routes and the ports and everything he built. And he was one of the greatest builders in the ancient world, and he's called Herod the Great, one of the only guys who has that in his title. And he built some of the most amazing things in the land of Israel. He built the site we're in now. He got us from the Maccabees and rebuilt them into a palace fortress. He loved forts and palaces because he liked luxury and he was very paranoid and he had to always have a fort somewhere. He built, uh, he rebuilt the walls around Jerusalem, the Temple Mount, making it the largest platform on the planet Earth until today. With the temple, he rebuilt the entire second temple to a gorgeous building. Even the rabbis who hated him said, if you haven't seen the house of Herod, you haven't seen the house. And they weren't talking about his palace in, Ce in the Caesarea, which is pretty awesome. He built an amazing artificial port city, Caesarea Maritina off the coast of Israel, south of Haifa, which was the central port of Israel. Artificial port, meaning no natural port feature. Underwater concrete, poured under the water in molds. An incredible feat of engineering. And again, he, Masada he takes and rebuilds into a beautiful five-star palace fortress. We don't know how often he was here, but he kept it very well provisioned with a garrison of soldiers and plenty of food. And in a place like this in the desert, it had three bathhouses and a swimming pool. And the middle part even had land where there was farming. And I want to just read you very quickly from Josephus, a very quick account. Josephus, again, must have been here. He's our historian. He died in the year, he was born in 40, he died in the year 100 of the Common Era. Herod died in the year 4 BCE. So they never met, but Herod's buildings outlasted Herod. And listen to Josephus' description for just a minute. There was a rock, not small in circumference and very high. It was encompassed with valleys of such vast depth downward that the eye could not reach their bottom. And you couldn't even see the bottom, how far down it is. They were abrupt as such that no animal could walk upon except in two places. I mean, even animals couldn't walk up. There's only two places you could come up from. One of these ways led from the Lake Asphaltus, that's what the, that's what the Romans called it, which is the Dead Sea, toward the sunrise to the east. Another was from the west, where the ascent is easier. You see how much higher it up was on this side than that side? He said, the, this one on this side is called the serpent, the snake path as we call it today, resembling an animal its narrowness and perpetual windings. And then Josephus writes, upon the top of the hill, Jonathan the high priest, this is Yochanan Kohen Gadol, you know, in the, the famous high priest, first of all built a fortress and called it Masada, after which the rebuilding of the palace employed the care of King Herod to a very great degree, which means he obsessed on it and turned it into an unbelievable piece of construction, which is now a world heritage site and considered one of the great feats of engineering of the ancient world. So what we're going to do now, ladies, is tour the site. What I told you now has to do 